advocate Eve Laurent, who is representing the September family pro bono, had 20 minutes to convince the Paris court that the French state made a grave mistake 34 years ago. Dulce September was born here in Cape Town, but she died outside her Paris office in March 1988. To this day, the death of the 52-year-old activist remains a mystery. Dulce was the African National Congress's chief representative in France, Switzerland and Luxembourg at the height of the apartheid regime's war on the liberation movement. But her death was not classified as an apartheid crime. France basically aligned its legal position on the one of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. Both countries chose not to recognize this as an apartheid crime. It's nonsense, it's a shame, and it's time for justice to raise the bar. Dulcie's case file was closed in 1992, but her family hopes that it will be reopened and lead to a fully-fledged investigation. There's no expiry date for us. Uh, we still want answers. We still um, want justice for, for Dulcie. Um, she did very important work here. Um, she was defending democracy. Uh, she was fighting for people who couldn't speak up for themselves. Um, and what, what did she do to deserve what she got? Some experts believe that Dulcie could have been targeted because she knew about France's illicit arms trade with apartheid South Africa. The verdict will be heard on the 14th of December.